Hey everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. Today I'm going to be using brand new products from Tim Holtz and we're going to make what I'm considering a gallery tag. This is a large media tag that's going to have some water coloring, some decorations, and we're going to pull together imagery from the Bull Botanical set to make this super beautiful gallery tag. I've already pre-covered the tag with some white gesso. This is a good base to start with, and we're gonna ink up the Bold Botanical set with our Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink. I wanna use this ink because it's safe for water coloring and Copic markers and all those fun mediums, but since I'm water coloring today, that will work perfectly as my stamped impression. Ink them up and stamp them down onto my tag all together on the backer card, and then I'll just use a brayer to help give some pressure. Now this isn't going to stamp 100% perfectly, but that's okay because we're gonna fill everything in with watercolors. So now I'm going to bring in my watercolors and I'm gonna start filling all the areas in, including the background that was stamped with the black ink. The stamping adds some nice texture through the watercoloring, which will add some interest to the background of each of these florals. So I used black and blue for the backgrounds and then I started bringing in colors for the florals. I did a lot of mixing and matching of watercolors to create the coloring for these flowers. I didn't want them all to be one solid color. I wanted pops of unexpected colors thrown in there too. So for this daisy image, for instance, I'm painting it yellow, but then I'm throwing in orange and pink. It adds some really nice unexpected detail. For this other flower, it looks like a Cosmo in my opinion. I'm going to color it with purples, blues, and pinks, and I'm mixing them together to create some really unique variation. I'm using a water brush to do all of my water coloring. It's a little easier to work with a water brush because it's already filled with water, so you can squeeze it to get more water out, or it applies a very even amount of water to your painting as you color, which is really convenient. If you wanna add additional texture and layers to your water coloring, you can let this dry and then come back in with more color. I've done that in certain spots where I've let the watercolor sit for a few minutes and then come back in with another color or darker colors to create a more layered effect. For this last one, I did a mix of pinks, yellows, and oranges. And if you notice, I used very similar colors throughout all these florals to make sure everything was very cohesive. All right, now it's time to paint our background. I've got Lost Shadow and Black Soot Distress Paints here, and we're going to apply them onto our tag. I'm using two different paintbrushes, a large paintbrush to cover larger areas very quickly, and then a smaller paintbrush to be a little bit more accurate as I go along the edges of my flowers, because I wanna make sure I have a nice clean edge along there. And to make this background a little bit more interesting, I've gone with both Lost Shadow and Black Soot together to create some variation. So you'll see lighter areas and then darker areas, which is kind of fun because then it gives the background a bit more interest. Using that same Lost Shadow paint, I'm gonna squirt a little bit of that onto my Tim Holtz glass mat and use a brayer to spread that out across my tool. Then I can bring it over to my stamp, which is from the Floral Trims set. I'm going to apply that across my stamp and then carefully take it and lay it on top of my tag and press it down so that way I can apply this stamped image onto it. So by stamping with the paint, we get a really nice opaque impression on top of this black background, which looks so cool. And I'll repeat that stamping across the other side of the tag to create a full border. Eventually, I did add a little bit more stamping of this image across the top of my tag. Now that my water coloring is dried, I'm going to add some interest to it by using some gouache. These gouaches happen to be from Altenew, but you can use any gouache that you have. I just wanted to add bold, opaque pops of color on my florals. This is also a little bit thicker than watercolor, so which means it actually has some dimension to it as well. To frame up my flowers, I use some Fine Tech Gold watercolors to add a simple frame around each of these images. And I am doing this by hand, so this will have a slight organic feel because of course not everything is going to be perfect when you paint by hand. I did splatter the background and my flowers with some of that same gold watercolor to add some organic texture. I also pulled in this butterfly die set from Tim Holtz. By the way, I have all the products that I'm using listed in the video description, so if you're curious about anything, you can find it all there or over on the blog. So what I'm doing is I'm die cutting each of these butterflies from one color of cardstock and I'm gluing all of their layers on top of them 
to create my dimensional butterfly. What's going to happen is once I have finished assembling the butterflies, I'm actually going to ink blend over top to get some depth. And you can kind of see where we're going by looking at the pink butterfly in the top left corner. With some Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks in colors that matched well with the cardstock that I used to cut each of the butterflies out of, I'm going to ink blend the butterflies. And I use detail blending brushes to do so because that helps me maintain control of where this ink is going. Then I can use some gold watercolors to add some fine details here and there around the edges of the butterflies. You don't have to do this, but it really ties all the gold together when you have these beautiful butterflies glistening with a touch of gold. Speaking of a touch of gold, I use some Simon Says Stamp matte gold cardstock to make the centers of each of my butterflies. Those Simon Says Stamp reverse tweezers are also really helpful for making sure that I can hold on to the pieces easily. So I'm going to set the butterflies aside and let them dry. And meanwhile, I'm going to work on another layer for my tag. So now I'm using some opaque crackle paste and I'm applying it through the brush mark stencil from Tim Holtz. Also new, it's such a cool stencil that adds some really fun texture. So this opaque texture paste is going to crackle when it dries. And the fun part is that because it's opaque, I can put another color on top of this paste to get some really nice, beautiful pops of color. And that color is gonna be teal. I wanna bring in more of that blue tone that I put into the Cosmo flower. And so that's going to allow me to get that look. So this is gonna have to dry. And once it did, I can then bring in some more distress paint. Now, a lot of this I wanted to have black because of course my background is black but I wanted those pops of teal. So that's where I'm going to just drop a few teal spots here and there on that opaque texture paste. And to apply this paint, I'm just using a mini ink blending tool and a foam blending pad to press the paint onto the surface. Next, I'm going to adhere my butterflies. I used Simon Says Stamp 3D Foam Squares in black to attach the butterflies onto the project. The black is going to hide really well, so you're never gonna notice that foam tape there, which is really handy. And I used, in some cases, one layer or two layers of foam tape, depending on how dimensional I wanted the butterflies. So now I'm ready to add in some sayings. I thought I would use this Believe stencil from this Christmas set from Tim Holtz because I have a sentiment strip that I wanna use that says, believe in yourself. But I wanted the word believe to be larger. So by using this stencil, I can create a nice big word and then apply some paste through it to create a piece that's going to actually stand out really well. And then I'll finish it off by trimming my sentiment strip down a little bit and using the, just the words in yourself to finish it off. Now this paste that I made is actually Tim Holtz white texture paste, but then I mixed it with some gold paint so that it matched well with the gold that I have throughout the project. This looks really pretty. And because I had paste left over and I wanted to add some more stenciling, I thought I would use this beautiful flourish stencil from Tim Holtz to go ahead and add some touches of gold in the corners of my tag. This looks so pretty and really ties all that gold together, which I love. It's really fun to be able to make your own custom paste because then you can match it really well to your project. I always like taking the white texture paste from Tim Holtz and mixing it with either inks or other paints to create the look I'm going for. This gold paint happens to be from Prima. So once I have my tag covered with my gold stenciling, then we're ready to go ahead and move on to adding the rest of our sentiments. So this believe in yourself strip, I'm gonna cut it down so that way I just have that last little bit of the greeting that I can add underneath the word believe that I've stenciled onto my tag. I always cover the edges of my sentiment strips with a bit of marker just to hide the white cord of the paper. And then I use foam squares to attach all of these sentiment strips down onto my project. I use three in total and I have them scattered across the tag, which I think is fun. So follow your heart, I put along the top, and then the remain hopeful is down along the bottom. A final finishing touch was I took a Tim Holtz button, and I'm going to use some red line tape to tape it down onto my project. I'm gonna stick it in the bottom right corner. It's a little small touch that adds just a little sparkle and a fun found object, which I think is fun. So there you have it my gallery tag using the Bold Botanicals stamp set and then also many other new stamps and stencils from Tim Holtz. I hope this project was inspiring, that you enjoyed it, and we'll try some of the ideas that I've shared on your next project. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I will be back soon with more to share with you all, but until then, I hope you have a wonderful day. Hi there. 
here. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.